All right, so it is Sunday here. We are a couple days into our Morph Madness sale with our flash sales. And I kind of wanted to talk about, um, you know, people say in the markets that, you know, that you can't sell snakes for anything, um, that they're not going anywhere, um, that there's no point in being in the business. Well, this guy here, um, last night, I was like getting ready for bed, and I get an email saying, I want to buy this guy. I was like, am I dreaming? What's going on? Um, and I was actually thinking about keeping him. So he's a blackhead leopard Mojave, black exanthic, 50% uh, possible double head hypo and pied. I was actually going to shed test him soon. I was thinking about maybe keeping him and replacing the dad if he pr proves out to be double head hypo pied. Um, but somebody came in and said, uh, you know, I want to buy this. I was like, all right, well, here's how you can pay. Thinking that maybe it's probably not going to work out. People have said they wanted to buy expensive stuff before. And then it kind of falls through. Well, I woke up this morning and I had money in the account. So um, I've sold, I've made three sales this weekend. And I think it's been a combined total of about $7,000. Um, so that's three sales. That's three snakes. Well, this was a pair. He came with a normal 100% uh, black exanthic female. But I don't really count that as a, as a separate sale. So it's been three sales one of those snakes was only $500, and I've made $7,000 this weekend with these snakes. So this market isn't dead. If you're producing stuff like this right here, this kind of fire animals, um, you know, these snakes, it's not dead. Um, there's a whole lot of doom and gloom going around with this stuff. Um, in my opinion, there's a lot of inexperienced people that have not been doing this long enough to say, oh God, it's dead. And I don't think I've been doing this long enough to know all of the answers to everything because I've only been doing this since 2019. Um, there's some people that have been doing this a lot longer than I've been, but I've seen things like this occur. I've seen prices fluctuate a little bit, maybe not this much as, as what's been going on through COVID, um, but I've also sold and purchased a lot of animals and I have a little more experience than some of those people that have just been in this since 2021, 2022 and don't really know what they're talking about. So people that only got in at the tail end of what's going on never really got to see the high highs as well. They're just seeing the low lows. So when you're getting your information, make sure you're getting it from a reputable source. Listen to people that have been around forever. Listen to Ozzy or Justin or Billy or Chimera. Um, and then trickle your way down to information from, from other people. Um, because it's it's very, very doom and gloomy. It sucks right now. It's hard. I mean, I, I in all honesty... Um, I mean, there's been times where I've been like, what am I doing? Like, <laughs> what am I spending money on? I can't believe I've, I've invested basically every last penny I've had for the last six years into this. And there's not a whole lot to show for it at this point. I mean, I, I've, I've made decent money, but I've reinvested every single penny of it. And over the course of the past five, six years, um, you know, I was projecting that, you know, by last year I'd be making... A ton of money I'd be able to quit my day job and this is what I wanted to do full-time well prices absolutely plummeted they crashed everything that I was supposed to be selling last year was selling for a fraction of the cost that I expected it to which completely dashed my dreams like it made me feel like crap um, it was terrible um, I, I really don't know how else to explain it it just it totally sucked um, it made my life very difficult. Um, it made our life very difficult because for me and my family, because we were expecting, you know, that mo that money to be rolling in, um, and as a kind of a security blanket to free us up cash flow and all that stuff. Well, it didn't happen. Um, and it was a rough year. It's kind of been a rough start to this year as well. Um, you know, we're we're almost three full months into it, and you know, clutches are taking a while to drop because the females weren't ready to go right away. Um, but they're going now and sales are happening. When you have a weekend where you sell $7,000 in a couple days, um, it's a good weekend. You know, that's, that's a lot of money for a lot of people. That's a lot of money for me. Um, so this is, it, it's, the market isn't dead. Um, you know, if you're just getting into this, now's a great time to get in because snakes are at their lowest prices ever. You can get adult clown females for around $500. When I first got into this, you couldn't buy an adult clown female for less than $3,000. That's just a plain adult clown female. No other jeans. They were thousands of dollars. 
just for that. Now they're 500, which is what they should be. It's, it's, it's an animal that doesn't have any other genes in it. It's an adult. Most animals shouldn't be more than 500 bucks if it's a single recessive, unless it's has a high scarcity. And most of these morphs don't anymore. So it's not as bad as what most people are saying. Um, uh, hopefully, hopefully, and I, and I can't guarantee that we're at the tail end of this downswing and hopefully things start start to get looking better sooner or later. But if I'm making snakes that are worth thousands of dollars and people are buying snakes that are worth thousands of dollars, obviously there's a market there still. Whether or not uh, whoever bought this is planning on breeding it or keeping it as a really cool pet. He bought a pair, so I'm assuming that he's going to breed them at some point down the road. Um, it still proves that there's big buyers out there. So don't get your hopes up. Um, now the difference is this this snake, um, he was only one of two ever sold. And Justin Kavelka was the only person to ever sell the other one. So you also have to kind of produce cool snakes that are a little more scarce. You can't just be producing pastel clowns. Um, and even desert ghost clowns aren't good anymore because everybody's making desert ghost clowns. You need to make DG clowns that have a bunch of genes in them. But, you know, little guys like this are, are proof that... Um, there's still big buyers out there and you can still make big sales. You just need to be producing really cool snakes.